Hello everybody and welcome to the Great Blue Unknown. This is Subnautica. We're gonna be uh, diving in here. I actually played a little bit, I recorded a little bit earlier and it kind of, it didn't end up being a disaster, but because I didn't know like literally anything about this game, I felt like I should probably learn a little bit more and then, you know, dive in. So the first, the first recording was like a first pass. I might put some of the clips on YouTube, I don't know, but here's the, here, we're going to start a new game here, survival, we're going to jump right in, we're going to crash land on the planet, and we have a little bit more knowledge of how to actually do the whole survival thing, because that's just kind of integral to this game, since it's a survival game, you know? If the level wants to load, okay. That's not good. Seat, get the seat. Okay, we launched the escape pod. Goodbye, ship. Oh, goodbye, ship. I wish I could look around here. Oh, there goes the fire extinguisher. Ooh, ouch. Gotta feel that one in the morning. Oh, all right. Okay, probably should put this fire out. Inventory secured. Right mouse button. Right mouse button to use the fire extinguisher. Excellent. Okay, fire averted. Okay. So we got our like iPad thing here. Greetings, right. survivor. Great Greetings. job not dying. To assist you in further survival in a most situation, pretty good job that I didn't die. You have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now, or PDA, as we like to call inventory. it, display currently available construction blueprints and holds other valuable information. Please okay. take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. I'm pretty familiar with it based on my first run of this. I now know that there's cool stuff in here, like flares that we can use, and water, and food. So let's grab this as, like, our initial basis for survival. Um, damage communications relay. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Oh. I don't think I really need the med kit, but I'll, ha I'll take it anyway, and, uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Hello, ship. And let's just dive in. Woo. Okay, so first goal is we want to start getting stuff for like a scanner, and we need to get stuff for silicon, and we need to get bleach and stuff like that. So we have a lot of stuff we need to look for. Um, so I'm like, I need to, yeah, there we go. I need some of this limestone stuff. See anybody in these dark uh, tunnels here? Oh wait, mushrooms mushrooms are good, I think. Grab four of them. Emergency. Oh crap. Of that's that's one thing I need to attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing. I wonder if I can actually swim over there. Drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Salvage Engine is good. Water. It's a good source of iron in the beginning. Like, when I first played, when I did my first run of this, I was like, ooh, look at everything. And I'm like, I just kind of let, like, my own survival kind of go to the wayside. Not this time. It's all about survival. Then we can get all, ooh, once we have, like, the basic necessities. Uh, also, if all goes according to plan, welcome to 60 frames per second, ladies and gentlemen. I've been doing, like, tests of it, and I want to- Oh god, yeah, I'm drowning. Probably pay attention to my oxygen. Um, but yeah, uh, this should be in- If all goes according to plan, this should be in 60 frames per second. If not, I am a liar, and I'm, I apologize. Pick that up, right? Okay. 
Um, Alright, I think I'm getting to the point where this run is good. I think I have enough of what I need. I grab the, the salvage. Okay, cool. Let's go and craft some stuff. I think we can start making some things or like get an inventory of what we need. Okay. Fabrication station. So our first goal is we definitely need sustenance. We definitely we'll definitely need water. Um, we'll also need some of these tools like the scanner, the welder, um, the flashlight, the and the survival knife, laser cutter. Yeah, we don't really need. But like these first four are kind of the big ones that we need. Um, so let's go ahead and make what we can here. And in the future, what I'll do is um, I'm gonna just speed this up. I'll probably cut all this crafting stuff out. That way it's, it goes a little faster. So we already have glass. Awesome. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait for titanium. <coughs> More titanium ingots. Sweet deal. Okay, I think we're good with that. I think... I can make a battery and copper wire. What... Do I need for... I can make an oxygen tank right away. Excellent. Perfect. So now we can survive a little longer. We're going to need silicon rubber for that. Um, tools. I need... A scanner. Scanner would be nice. The survival knife. I need silicon rubber. Um, so we can go out and just start trying to collect that. Uh, we can do a little exploring. Okay. I think now that we have the... Now that we have the... Oh, cool. Right over here. Um, although, these Barracuda guys are not friendly. I have to watch out for these guys. Oh, and there's a lot kind of in the area. That's no good. All right. Hopefully they don't notice me. Be fine. I need to be fine. Oh, I need the pods. That's right. I can't cut creep vine until I have the pods. I need the pods first, and then I need the... The vines itself. Unfortunately, Mr. Nasty Barracudas... Continued degradation of the Aurora's dry pool. Well, that one over there seems pretty, pretty all right. Risk assessment: death by malnourishment, seven percent; by physical injury, eleven percent; by Okay, cool. No, there's a barracuda dude there too. All right. Site materials, nineteen percent. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to sixty-five percent. Okay. Caution: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, I think we kind of stole some of that stuff underneath the noses of those barracuda. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. And I also want to get flippers so we can actually move around a little faster. That'll be awesome, too. Because the more time we can effectively spend... Why, is it, why are they collecting that there? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Just, uh, I can worry about you guys. Whew. All right, let's um head back into the ship here and see if we can make ourselves some tools now. All right, what do we got? Basic resources, lubricant, silicon rubber is what we need. I wish there was a way to say make all of it. Okay. Sweet. Now we can move around a little faster. And can I make a knife yet? I need titanium still. Okay, so I have to jump back in there and uh, grab some titanium. Which should be... I should be able to get from the ship parts. And yeah, now we're moving. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright. I 
I think nightfall is coming, which is not great. I do have flares if I need them, but... something getting dark under here. I just really like how this game looks. It's very nice. It's very chill at home, for the most part. Other than the whole you have to survive thing, but you know, what are you gonna do? Why are you right by my ship? Go away, you spore excreting monster. Alright, up we go. Do, do, do and let's make ourselves some more titanium. Okay. So now I should be able to make a survival knife. Hooray. So with that I should be able to Magnesium. Stalker to Oh, I don't have that. Um, glass. Creepvine seed cluster. There was something I needed. I think it was bleach. Uh, tools. What do I need for a scanner? I need a battery. Okay, I'll need two batteries. Let's see if we can make them. Sweet. Which means I can go ahead and make a flashlight. And I can make a scanner. So now we actually can just go underwater and not have to worry about using the well, the flares are helpful if we want to see how far down something is, but warning. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one-to-one really safety range. <laughs> Alright, if we scan some things, like... I don't know what I get for, like, scanning, like stuff. I get encyclopedia entries. I'm not sure what that really is for. Oh. Never mind. He does not want to be bothered. Alrighty. Let's see. There's some quartz we can get. Caution. Blood nutrient levels decreasing. Calorie intake recommended. Calorie intake recommended. Alright, let's um let's eat. Vital signs stabilizing. And let's drink a little bit so we have that. One thing we should make is a suit that actually retains water a little more. That would be nice. Okay. So now that we have the knife, I can get... Ooh, I can get coral samples. That's right. Probably don't even need that much, but you know. And then I think come on over and get some creep vines. Do now there's there's a lot more to this than just like these areas. Like eventually I'll be able to branch out, but I'm just not at that point yet. But we'll get there. Hopefully it's not too terribly dark. I don't have my flashlight out. Oh, shoot. 
Nope, 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 nope. Oh yeah, he's totally after me. Oh god. Oh, come back in. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten, nine, eight, seven. Huh, that's a problem. Five, four, um, three, two. That's wonderful. Our fishy friend went away, but I feel like if I go back in the water, he's going to show back up. Well, there goes our hope of getting off this watery planet. I like how the wind sound picks up. The sound design is in this game is very good. Alright, let's see if our friend is back. Oh, he's still there. It's totally still there. Where is he? Ooh. He hurts. Oh my god. Picked up a signal, picked up nutrient block, filtered water. Okay, cool. What do we do about this guy, though? <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Uh... Huh. Can I throw the knife at him? So far he hasn't got me. I think he's running away from me now. Fishy. Crap. Uh. Uh, what? Okay. He just kind of disappeared. Heat signature. 500 meters down, that's... Okay, we're gonna need, like, a sub for that, I guess. Well, our friend Mr. Stalker kinda... Went away, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Alrighty. This is just a big coral tube? Is that what this is? Okay. Alright, we're off to a good start. Let's see if we can get some creep vines without incurring the wrath of more of those stalker dudes. Looks decently safe. Inventory full. All right, fine and dandy. Let's head back. All righty. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, that menu is really close up. Uh, materials. We can make more glass. Fiber mesh, that's what we need. I need to make the still suit. I need silver for that, okay. If I keep making oxygen tanks, will that just keep adding? That's the one thing I never really figured out. Um, deployables, current generator beacon, my copper wire. Let me see. What's what's the next thing I should probably look for to make? Um, oh, actually, sustenance. 
I need bleach. I can't remember how to make bleach. Let me see. Okay, I need salt deposit with the coral. Okay. So I need to go do a little bit of mineral searching so we have water. But to get the still suit... We need two silver ores and more fiber mesh. Okay, let's um, see my inventory here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's put all this coral in here because we just don't we just don't need it. Um, copper ore, fiber mesh. That's fine. So we need to go get some signatures and let's see if we can start scanning some of these. Wait. Is that our friend from before? He's stuck. I don't know if he's like currently dying or I um uh, I don't know what okay. Just gonna keep this isn't early access, just so, just so we're clear here. I did get hit by something. I don't know what though. I mean, the, the battle music's kicking up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep swiping at this guy. And my knife broke. I got acid mushroom samples and not stalker stuff. Ooh. Okay, so we need to go get some more silicon so we can make another knife. Actually, before I forget, let me... Scanning, scanning, scanning. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Where was our buggy friend? Buggy Barracuda. That should be his name. Buggy Barracuda. He's our friend. Our undersea friend.